Hi everyone! I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving uh, if you were in the States. I am sorry that I can put this video up on Wednesday. Um, I only got to watch the episode on Sunday and I know I'm, I'm, I'm breaking my pattern and that I'm not recording this immediately after watching the episode, but uh, unfortunately I was unable to do this before. So I'm really excited for tomorrow's episode and here are my thoughts on the last episode that aired last Wednesday. So let's start with the Redemption Island Challenge. I thought Laura was awesome. She's really proven herself to be the best puzzle solver of the whole gang. Um, and I thought it was interesting that she decided to help Tina um, not lose the challenge. Uh, does it help ensure votes? I'm trying to think of what the strategy is here. I mean, I guess whoever gets eliminated is on the jury anyway, but maybe helping Tina, um, maybe helping Tina out will help ensure votes for Sierra, should Sierra make it to the final three, or, you know, I guess vice versa, if they help each other out, they both still have daughters in the game, um, so maybe, maybe that's a way to, yeah, help each other out if one of those four makes it to the final three. Um, I do think that it shows there is a big danger in having someone in the final three that has someone on the jury, and I think that's going to play a big part in who, um, I guess if it's Tyson and Jervis, in who they take to the end, meaning that I don't think it would be smart for them to take either Sierra or Katie. Uh, I was sorry to see Vitas go, and uh, I did listen to some of the podcasts with Aris, and uh, he said how, you know, Vitas saying that uh, he wouldn't feel, you know, excited for Aris if he were to get back into the game uh, was kind of in a joking way, and I believe that. I think I think the, the editing played a big part in that, um, but I do think Vitas' story was kind of over, so... I and maybe I'm just being playing into the whole editing thing, but it was hard at this point for him to sort of swoop back in and, and really make it. So that's how I felt about that. Uh, next, let's talk about Hayden and Caleb's move to target Tyson and sort of bring in um, Sierra and Katie. I think that was really smart. And I said that already last week when we saw the preview. I think that I was hoping Tyson would sniff it out somehow, play his idol, or move things around. Uh, but unfortunately, Sierra made it way too easy for him. I'm not sure why she rushed over to Tyson and decided to trust him more than uh, her alliance. Although, to be fair, those guys were not really, like, on Sierra's side during the whole first part of the game on Tadana, so she doesn't really have like inherent loyalty to them aside from the fact that they were on the same tribe, but like she had to fend for herself every time at tribal and like she was always on in danger. Um, so I see why she favored Tyson, but I also like she didn't do a well enough job at at convincing Hayden and Caleb that she was with them. She like they saw through her right away. So Sierra to me is like a real combination of smart and stupid, and unfortunately that's going to cost her the game. Uh, let's talk about the challenge. I really, as much as I love Tyson, I really hate it when people sit out of a challenge. Uh, so in this game, this challenge, I'm all for Monica, and I'm really, I'm really impressed with Monica. I think she's increasing her chances to win each week just by being Right now, she's kind of being a slow sort of sniper in the game. Um, she's kicking ass at challenges. She's not making any waves right now, even though there was a certain point where she it seemed like she was on the bottom. And uh, I think I think she's really increasing her chances to win. Uh, and it makes me feel good because when she first started on One World, I had high hopes for her. My my predictions were um, very optimistic for Monica, and I was very disappointed when she got voted out prematurely. So. So this is proving me right in the faith that I put in her. Um, moving back to Hayden and Caleb, I was very impressed with how perceptive they were. Instead of just sort of being super confident at their move with Tyson, they saw that Sierra um, wasn't really with them. And, uh, and they made a good attempt with Tyson to try and convince him uh, that Sierra was playing both sides, but at the end of the day, I was glad Tyson didn't see through it, and the timing didn't quite work out. Like, it, you could tell, I think, if you looked hard enough that they were scrambling. I do think it's a shame that Tyson used his idol. 
at Tribal Council, um, but I guess not every idol can be played the, well Ma the way Malcolm plays his idols. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, so yeah, moving to Tribal Council. Uh, I'm really glad they went with Caleb over Sierra, uh, but Sierra's still in danger. And, uh, and she should have worked harder, like I said, to play Caleb and Hayden. I think that would have been better for her. Uh, but even so, she's just like showing too many of her cards to one player, not enough to others. It's, uh, it's a little bit strange. Uh, Katie, however, is still kind of making it through week after week, which is impressive. Uh, but again, like I said, I think it would be very threatening to have, um, someone in the final three that has a loved one in the jury. So I think Katie and Sierra will, will soon... Uh, be eliminated, which I guess they're not going to take Hayden to the end either, so to me it seems pretty obvious now that it's going to be Tyson, Jervis, and Monica. Uh, let's talk about jury psychology because someone wrote about that in um, the comments to my last video. I find it very hard right now to go through what the jury psychology is going to be because so much happens as they watch the tribals every week as someone else joins in Ponderosa, what they could say, uh, what, what happens on Redemption Island, so I think um, if Aris and Vetus may be bitter when they first get eliminated, I think by the time they vote at the end, they'll actually make a decision that will, that will, uh, benefit the player that's played the best game. In this case, I think Tyson. Uh, either way, if I look at, mm, like, various final threes, I think it's going to be a hard win and a well-deserved win. Um, I think Monica now has good chances. I didn't think so a few weeks ago, and I think if she makes it to the end, if she handles her final speech well, uh, she could she could take it. I think it might be possible, especially with the whole mom factor, like Laura and Tina might, might eventually side with her and get past their uh, differences with her from earlier. Who knows? I think Tyson has great chances because he has played the best game. Uh, and the daughters, if they're at the end, even if the, one of the moms are at the end, I think they would have a good chance uh, in, in playing that. I mean, Katie and Sierra have definitely had it hard from the beginning. So if they make it to the end, it'll be a huge feat. And I think they would deserve to win in a way as well. The only one who doesn't really have as big of a chance, in my opinion, is Jervis. Um, I, I don't think... He could win, so I think Jervis is the perfect person to take the, to the end. So now that Tyson has used his idol, we have a new idol in the game, uh, which is only good for, I guess, a couple more votes. Could it be more exciting? I feel like the producers have probably been yearning for this idol to be played more. Uh, so we'll see what happens with this next idol. And, uh, and then the preview showed, a, uh, showed Hayden trying to rally the troops uh, to turn against Tyson, which is his best move. Absolutely, he needs to play hard now that he's on the chopping block and a big target. And um, I'm excited to see Hayden play. I wonder if he'll succeed. What do you guys think? I'll uh, look forward to your comments tomorrow throughout the day. And, uh, and then we get to watch another episode tomorrow night. Talk to you guys soon.